New developments tonight in the case of two men convicted of murder. Carl Willis and Wayne Braddy, they are expected to be released from prison in just weeks. Chase Bachman talked to WTOL 11 lead investigator Brian Duggar about this story. Chase, how did we get to this point after all these years? Mel Jeff 11 investigates first looked at this case back in 2019. Brian Duggar talked with Braddy and Willis, legal officials, advocates and the victim's family. And four years later, the two men are taking Alfred pleas to a lesser charge in order to be released later this month. I'm very, I'm very excited. It's been a long journey. I mean, Wayne Braddy and Carl Willis were convicted of the 1998 murder of Maurice Purify. Lead investigative journalist Brian Duggar began looking at the case four years ago and never expected it to unfold the way it did. It was actually shocking the way it developed. I mean, when, when I heard, and you know, I think as an investigative reporter, you hear from a lot of people in jail, um, and a lot of them have a story about how they're wrongfully convicted. And Investigations by WTOL 11 revealed a lack of evidence against the two, which Duggar says was frustrating to re-examine. I mean, it's very frustrating to look at the evidence, and when I say evidence, the thing is, there wasn't any evidence. There wasn't DNA evidence. There weren't uh, witnesses, good witnesses, at least. Eventually, a nonprofit called the Ohio Innocence Project got involved. The group helps the wrongfully convicted and pushed for the courts to take another look at the case. Now, after nearly a quarter century behind bars, it's a period of redemption for Braddy and Willis. No matter how you, you cut it at these, this point, these guys have still served 23 years in prison. But that leaves a question. Who did kill Maurice Purify? I absolutely believe that Maurice's uh, true killer is still out there. As for Braddy and Willis, their life has come full circle. We're trying to get who I believe are two innocent men out of prison so that we can really focus on finding Maurice's true killers. So Brian there on vacation joining us. We appreciate him joining us because he has followed this so for so long, update after update after update. And to this day, it's still one of the most watched stories that we've ever put on our YouTube page. Yeah, a lot of interest. In, and Chase, we're just weeks away from them going out of jail. Yeah, absolutely. They're going to go through the final processing at Lucas County Common Pleas Court. They're going to be released on March 28th. And after that, they should be free to walk after taking those alpha plea deals. And you can actually catch the full full reports, full series on our guilty without proof on our website, WTOL.com.